How you doing guys? Uh, I'm doing pretty damn good right now. I just got two really nice big beer mails from Chad, the Albino Rhino, and Average Joe. Uh, really good, good guys. Uh, they just, if, if, if you've seen the beer mails they've sent in the past to me, they've spoiled the hell out of me. And this is no exception this time around again. Uh, two nice big packages. Uh, gonna take me well through spring for uh, beer reviews. I'm effing set right now. I uh, don't have to do anything. I wouldn't... Uh, honestly, I don't have to go to the liquor store at all. I could just avoid it altogether. Um, so we're going to go through the one from Average Joe first. Uh, he sent a, a letter here. Uh, he's, first off, we'll look at the, um, uh, the uh, coasters he sent. First we have one from Southern Tier. Very nice looking. One from the esteemed Brooklyn Brewery. Garrett Oliver's Brewery. And yet another famous American brewery, Sierra Nevada. Celebration. Pale Ale. Badass. Put those to good use. And now he sent, uh, as I said, he sent a letter here. He said, uh, good sir, another beer mail coming to you. Hope you enjoy them as much as the last one. This one consists of all but one of the beers being over 9% ABV. Here's a little bit about these beers. He's got, uh, and I will, um, just to save time a bit here, I won't read what he wrote right now. I'll, I'll get to it when I do the reviews. First one, Ballast Points. Imperial Porter, Victory at Sea, Coffee Vanilla Imperial Porter. So there we go. Awesome looking skeletal pirate on there with a skeleton parrot as well. Very cool. Next, Founder's Backwoods Bastard. And that is a uh, ale aged in oak and bourbon barrels. That's one I wanted to try. 10.2%. Love Founders. Love, love Founders. Next, Founders Imperial Stouts. What's this one go for? 10.5% uh, alcohol by volume. So there's an Imperial Stout. Sorry for the glare on the camera here. Okay. Sun is shining right in the window. I even look, I got the curtains drawn and I've got the light on there. But on the bright side, the lighting probably looks the best it ever has on my webcam. Um, next, very very cool. Uh, this is a much well respected beer, one that I see a lot of people do that I definitely wanted to try. This is Goose Island's 2012 version of the Bourbon County Stout. That looks, ooh, I, I don't know if I want to sit on this one for a while. I'm probably just going to review it straight up. I don't know if I should sit on it, but um, considering I don't have any others to compare with it, it might be better if I just review it straight up, but um, wow. And that's 15% alcohol by volume. Uh, let's see what we got. Now, here's a very cool one. I've seen a lot of um, beer tubers, especially um, Beer Geek Nation guys, um, doing stuff from this series, from this brewery. This is Firestone Walker's Double DBA, Imperial Special Bitter, Barrel Aged. Very, very cool. And I love the presentation here. They got the box here. They've got it all set up like whiskey almost, like the way it's presented. All kinds of stuff on here, Firestone Walker. Reserve Series number one. Got all the information on it. 12% alcohol by volume. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. That's... These are the things that uh, 
usually I tease uh, guys like uh, Stumpy Joe Jr. and stuff like you son of a bitch all those awesome beers you can try I hate you and now I get to try a few of them thanks to Joe so this is very very awesome um, next uh, where are we here it is Old Goose uh, Tilquin I guess uh, Old, Old Goose Tilquin a la ancien, so I assume that means ancient. I'll uh, see if I can find some reviews of this, and I'll try to get a somewhat of a proper pronunciation of this. This is a traditional Belgian lambic ale. It is from two two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve, I guess. Vintage and. Six point four percent alcohol by volume, so that's the uh, lowest one in the uh, in the range he sent me this time. Uh, next, got a canned beer. This is six point three beans. Um, three beans, ten point ten point zero percent alcohol by volume. So it's it's an ale with. Um, coffee added to it yes it's apparently a Baltic Porter he says in style very very neat all right it looks it it looks like one of those um, uh, energy drink like chocolate or coffee energy drinks uh, cans you can get Although I imagine it tastes a whole lot better than that shit. And finally, very cool, another famous uh, beer. Um, this is Trappist uh, Rockfort uh, 10, which is 11.3% alcohol by volume. And this is a Belgian ale. Uh, I don't know right off the right off hand what style Belgian ale it is. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. Very, very cool. And he says finishing up, he still hadn't found any Guinness for an extra stout. He'll continue to keep an eye out for it. Once he finds it, he'll send it in the future beer mail. Fuck, man. Uh, no need to apologize there. Uh, you spoiled the hell out of me again. This is really, really awesome, dude. Um, didn't have to go this far, but he did and I ain't gonna send any of it back to him so fuck uh, this is really really awesome I'm really looking forward to getting into these and now we'll get to the second half of this uh, video I know it's going on long sorry uh, if you don't like it just switch off right now next one sent to me by the albino rhino and actually just hold on a second I gotta check and make sure he didn't send a note with uh, with his box If he had sent a note, I wouldn't want to miss it. All right. Here's another uh, beer mail I was expecting from the Albino Rhino. He sent a mixture of cool stuff and a couple of things that uh, they've reviewed on his channel that they thought were just downright horrible and awesome. I always, I always love getting these little uh, mixed ones from the Albino Rhino. Nice combination of stuff from both ends of the scale. So first, and he sent me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine beer. Jeez. <laughs> uh, next, uh, first, Flying Monkeys Stereo Vision, which is a American Crystal Wheat, five percent alcohol by volume. Okay. Uh, what we got here next? Oh, this is kind of cool. I'm really interested in trying this one. Um, the original Genuine Maxon Triple X Milk Stout. Very, very cool. This one is 4.9% alcohol by volume. That's really neat. Alright. 
Next, here's one. Here's uh, the Honey Monster's favorite beer. Um, one even the Honey Hipster uh, turns his nose down on, I imagine, because it co-ops a culture, apparently. Uh, this is uh, Millennium Buzz Hemp Beer. Cold filtered, all natural. Oh, it just screams macro cash in. Uh, cool beer company. 5% alcohol by volume. All right, that'll be interesting to try that one. Now, we got two from Innocent Guns. Um, other, uh, their there's sub brand, I guess. Uh, their Melville's brand. Now, I think I've had this one. I think I have. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back and check. I think I reviewed this on one of my live shows. Uh, this is Melville's Raspberry Lager. I'm pretty damn sure I, I had that and reviewed it because I know I, I did pretty sure two Melvilles that he sent the last time. And I think it was the raspberry and the strawberry. I'm pretty damn sure. But at either way, I will try it again. And this is in one of the newest ones in the Melville's uh, lineup. Uh, they're ginger beer. Love gingers. Uh, and any ginger beer. Apparently, he says, um, the owners, uh, uh, Dougal Sharp there, said uh, that this wasn't... Uh, Probably wasn't going to be spicy enough for the Rhino, but it might be spicy enough for me, so we'll see. Very, very cool. And more from Innocent Gun. This is one of their newest beers coming out. It's the Innocent Gun Scottish Pale Ale. And boy, does it look pale through that glass. Uh... Vibrant Scottish Pale Ale of a lively, zesty hop character. 41 days matured in oak. They really got to get a brewery and mature this stuff for longer. And typical of Innocent Gun, 7% alcohol by volume. Uh, they go big just about in every brew they do. Very, very cool. Looking forward to that. Now, here's an infamous one from the Rhino uh, crew. This is St. Peter's, the Saints, beer with whiskey, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Apparently, they all thought this sucked. Apparently, it was disgusting to all of them, I seem to recall. So, I'll be very interested in seeing how this one goes. Uh, I might love it. You never know. I mean, a big whiskey snob that I am, so. Next, what do we got here? Ah, I guess this is... I'm pretty sure this is a new brewery that just opened up in uh, in Ontario, or fairly recently anyway. Uh, Church Key Brewing, Northumberland Ale. Very, very cool. 5% uh, alcohol by volume. Look interested in trying that. I'm going to have to do some research on Church Key. That's, that's neat. Really awesome. All right, and finally, I don't think this is released yet. I'm pretty sure it's not. I might, it might be released in Ontario, but it's not down here yet. Um, Molson Canadian Wheat. They went outside their Rickards sub-brand or any of their other sub-brands and just released one right under their actual name, uh, Wheat Beer. So they're obviously they're going for some sort of semi-macro thing here. And it's at 5% alcohol by volume. No, it's 4.5% alcohol by volume. Wow, big surprise. I am actually generally surprised by that. Awesome. What can you say? Uh, average Joe. The Albino Rhino. Classy individuals. Uh, they spoiled me again. I did send something off to the Albino Rhino today. It doesn't quite compare to what he sent me, uh, which is usually the case. Um... And uh, Average Joe is definitely on my future future uh, mail list here again soon. Whenever I get my ass up to um, uh, sea level brewing, and uh, I think I'm gonna wait till um, either I get another YouTube check or I get uh, my tax returns. 
and then I'll go up and buy a bunch of stuff um, at sea level, a bunch of their canned stuff, send that out to Average Joe, send it out to Rhino, send it out to a bunch of other people that I've been promising to send beer out to now for a good part of a year and haven't done. Uh, yeah, so that's it guys, 15 minutes here, big long one, uh, but there was, it was worthy of, of that because there's a lot of beer there I had to go through, so... That's what's coming up on the channel um, in the in the future, in the next two months or so, maybe even three months. Who knows how I space these out. All right, guys. You be good. We'll see you later.